Hello, Trouties. Happy Friday. Welcome to the Manic Trout Studio in my happy little corner here. In case you don't know who I am or what I'm doing here, my name is Sierra Bailey and I am the owner, maker, everythinger here at Manic Trout, which is a jewelry company. I'm based out of Austin, Texas, and on Fridays, I go live from my studio here in Austin to share a variety of things with you. Sometimes I may talk about style and fashion. Sometimes I talk about the background of the company and the behind the scenes. And sometimes on days like today, I show you what the jewelry actually looks like on a small but real life person. And I always start this out with Keep in mind that I am only five foot two. Maybe the camera makes me seem taller than I am in real life, but I'm really short. So if you perhaps are much taller than I am, which is more than not the case, <laughs> uh, know that if you are looking at the necklace and you're like, why doesn't it come as long on you as on me? I do always offer necklace extenders and can make things at longer lengths. So that's just a little note. So today, if you've been following along on these and if you are um, friends with Man of Trout on Facebook, you know that I'm kind of changing things up of how I'm doing collections. And I've been releasing animals like a few on the months that the big collections come out. Um, one, I like to release animals more often because I miss them. Two, it kind of lets me bring in animals and move animals out so that the collection like of just the animals doesn't get massive. Um, and at first I started doing them limited edition and then it that just does not work it, i i don't like doing that it's a lot of work to do even a small collection so i would rather have them stick around and become part of you know the collection as a whole so the animals that were released in july are staying and the animals that uh, have been released this past week are also going to stay and be part of the regular collection um but i may start retiring animals a little earlier now than I had been. I also want to give a quick note. I'm kind of like cornered to a window. So if it looks like the sun, the light is changing, the sun all of a sudden keeps coming out of the clouds and getting really bright and then going back. So uh, apologies if your screen is doing weird things. That's what that is. All right, so let's talk about the August animals. So a few of you trouties, you've reached out and you've said, very loudly, hey, you never have like dragons. Why are there no dragons? And I thought, that is an excellent question. Why do I never do dragons? I do not know that much about dragons. I do not know that much about the world of the sci-fi dragons. So uh, Trouty Cindy, who you may have met if you've been watching these videos, who popped in one day, has been educating me in the world of dragons. And the biggest thing that she said that I probably like theme wise that kind of goes across the board are that dragons often have a lot to do with either fire or with ice. And there is a popular TV show right now that talks a lot about those too. But I started thinking about that and I was looking at colors and I was thinking, you know, I, I had a few dragons in mind and I had different colors and I wanted the August animals to be glass because the fall winter collection will be coming in September and that is going to be gemstone based. So I like to kind of alternate that. And I had the dragon kind of in mind and then I was like, fire, ice, fire, ice. Do I want to go with the cooler or the warmer? And then, you know what I decided? I was like, I'm going to do a left and a right dragon and I'm going to do both colors because I've never done that before. Uh, if you have been a fan of Manic Trout for a long time, you know that I absolutely, if you see a necklace in a certain color and you know that I have you know, this other gemstone or these other colors, I absolutely you know swap them around. So that's always possible. But I've never actually put out the same animal with different colors at the same time. So it was kind of exciting trying something new. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts on that. And so I have two dragons that came out this August. I have the Set the Fire Dragon and I have the Cold as Ice Dragon. So I went with two themes. Now, another thing that I did with the August animals, and this was kind of inspired by the dragon color situation, because not only could I not decide between the fire and ice theme, but I could not decide on the colors that I had within that. I mean, it was, it was like choosing like, you know, favorite ice cream flavor. It was very difficult. So I actually did, I, throw the thing up. I actually did multicolor necklaces for the August, August necklaces. All right. So this is the set the fire necklace. I'll bring that in so you can see it and 
Oh, that sun is so bright. There we go. And I used alternating colors. And if you get right up in there, do you see how the red, has, that's not a trick of the light. That is actually like the finish on the red bead. It has a beautiful AB, which stands for Aurora Borealis. It has an Aurora Borealis finish on it. And it alternates with the orange. I use a check glass. It's like Ozia or something. And I find that this glass, it's a brand name. They have brand names of glass now, like how Swarovski has the crystals. Oh, it goes very well with my dress. So the reason why I wanted to use this particular glass is, oh, it just shimmers in the light so spectacularly, which reminds me of like, you know, when flames come out of dragons and it has the, the cracks in the flares of the fire that oh i have to press a button apologies that is what um i was going for with the glass and that's why i liked using the glass in this design these necklaces are the two dragons are both 22 inches long and like i said i'm five foot two so i always talk about making necklaces longer and having extensions but if you are short like myself and you want a necklace that is you know up here you just have to you know, measure your favorite necklace and tell me the length and I can make it shorter or longer because I make all of the jewelry here at Manic Trap. So I can do that for you. All right, so for the Fire Dragon Lovers, that is the Set the Fire Necklace. Now for the Ice Dragon Lovers. Again, because of that glass, this instead of having like the fire flame situation has more of what you would think of as the ice, the there you go. Glitter that you would see on ice. All right. So keeping with the theme, I have the alternating colors. Again, the sun is killing me today. And I have this beautiful ice blue. And then that crystally icy white also has an AB finish. So I was working, you'll notice with my designs, or you may have noticed that I like to kind of, I have a little bit of a theme going on with some things. And I was using the alternating on that. All right. So this is the set the fire necklace it does not match my dress as well that is an unfortunate thing i let me tell you i changed before the video so that i had something on you always know when i'm going to try jewelry on because i have my hair up because i have so much hair it gets in the way and i was trying to put a dress on that would show the necklaces and not get in the way you know i'm trying to be um a mannequin thank you robin i know it's hard isn't it because <laughs> a lot of people are like well you've made it impossible for me to choose i i couldn't choose when I was designing them, I had to make both. So uh, yes, this one does not match my dress as well, but it still goes pretty well. So it is, you know, not only the fire and ice of dragons, but it is between, I noticed that some people much prefer a sparkly neutral color in their jewelry. They don't want the bold color. Perhaps they just don't wear as much bold co color or perhaps their outfits often have bold color. So they want to be a little more subtle with the colors in their jewelry. So I kind of feel, you know, we're playing both on the lore of the dragon and on the personality, depending on if you want like bold and bright or if you want like a little more subdued. Mind you, it's still a statement necklace with a dragon. So you, subdued is a relative term when we're having this discussion and all that. All right. So that is the coldest ice. As I said, both dragons are 22 inches, which I find is a lovely length. Um, I know a lot of you Trouties are taller. I'm I'm probably shorter than most of you. So that is a, I, when people ask if they can have things lengthened, that's often the length that they're looking for. So we're going in here. Let's see here. I'm trying to make it so the dragons don't overlap. This is like some, there you go. So these are the two colors for the dragons, which are different and lovely each in their own way. I, I can't decide on which one I like better. I, yeah, absolutely not. All right, so to move away from the dragons, the next piece in the collection is the scenic root ne uh, necklace, as in I'll take the scenic root. P.S. All of the jewelry at Manic Trout are named after songs. And if you go on to manictrout.com and you look in the kind of where the line description of the item is, it will tell you what the song is of each necklace. So maybe you can guess, so I don't want to give it away and then go see if you're right. Um, I also want to say, somebody asked the other day, when you are looking at the website on your phone, there's the, like the picture and a little description kind of like almost bulleted. And then there's the word description that's in a kind of black text box. If you hit the word description, it like opens up a whole chunk and that's where um 
I describe like the animal totem significance, the gemstone meanings, things like that. I kind of put in that information. So it, on the phone, I've, I have realized that it hides it a little more, but you know, the phone is formatted a little differently to make it work better. So we go with it. The next one, the scenic route is a, oh, the sun today, is a tiger. He is, there you go. Isn't he sassy? I enjoy that tiger. Uh, he is with a beautiful crystal and that purple has like a, it's almost like it is speckled. How well can, is it focusing on there? It is speckled and it has like a golden shimmer on it. Doesn't that glass just sparkle so well? So this is, again, I, I would say almost more of a sparkly neutral. I like to alternate. I like to have both for everybody. Um, and you know, this one almost gets a little, uh, I, the crystal sometimes makes it seem a little dressier. I like that. And I think this one is, I have a little cheat sheet poster right there, is 21 and a half inches. It does seem very close in size, but they're, you know, all relatively close in this collection. And I really enjoy from afar how it looks. It, there you go. Because I can't, even though I like slightly askew jewelry, I, I do like the symmetry as well. This is why I do slightly askew. Because I feel like I don't seem as crazy if it's slightly askew, you know. <laughs> All right. The next one is cow. I like cows. I named this one the how now. Which, of course, because it is a song name. But also, because all I can think about is how now, brown cow. Which then I'm like, what was that from? That was something? Is it? Shakespeare or like trying I don't think it was trying to remember I'm trying to remember what it stood for it was something used for studying in school I don't know how now brown cow instantly got stuck it's not like how the the sly fox jumped over that's like a text thing anyway I'm off on a tangent this is a cow <laughs> and this has um Two green, a beautiful peridot green, which is the birthstone color of August. And this other green has a matted, a matted finish, which has a beautiful texture that has some of that AB finish again. I enjoyed the extra sparkle that was going on with the AB finish. And I actually am, of the whole, of all four of the August animals, I, I kind of think that I, this one's my favorite. It measures at 22 inches, and I really like the two greens, and I like how the greens look far away, and I may not have had a this shade of green necklace in a while, and I I, uh, I think this, this might be my, all week long I've been trying to figure it out. I don't always like to play favorites, but you know, you have to kind of be like, if I had to pick one, it's human nature to want to do that. So I'm pretty sure the cow is my favorite, the how now necklace, and it is two shades of green with a sassy cow right there. All right, so those are the four August necklaces, but guess what? I have a trick up my sleeve that I haven't really talked about yet. Like I said, I have kept the July animals around and I'm keeping the August animals around, but the first collection that I did for this, which was the May collection, because June was the summer collection, the May collection kind of came and then went, and then it was sad. So I decided to bring back my favorite of the necklaces, and this one is 20 inches. So this one is two inches shorter. So again, the shorter people probably more manageable length. The change of heart necklace. Oh, I didn't show you the detail. So this one has a adorable frog. We've been having a lot of frogs around here recently. Ooh, this one. So this has a same check glass faceted bead on there. And this, it is like a teal with a blue. It's a really pretty, very sparkly glass bead on that with the frog. So that is the change of heart necklace. And he has now come back to the website. And I don't think I've, this is the first time I've announced that. I put it up maybe yesterday or something like that. And I have decided to make this guy. He was the favorite from the May collection. So he has joined. And at first, that's what I was kind of thinking about. Um, I will also say that uh, one of the July necklaces, the mermaid with the fluorite, there's only like a couple left. So they, that one will not really be like, it will not, I bet, be there by past the 
next month or so. I know. Um, it depends on how many people. We're actually leaving mermaid season, but mermaids are very popular in the summer. But yes, there are five new animals that are part of the collection at manictrout.com. You, of course, can find them all at manictrout. And I um, will not be taking any animals away for a while, but I, I'm going to try next month is when the fall winter collection of 2017 will come out and that will be gemstone based. I'm gonna back up, I'm cutting myself off in the camera, um, as my collections are. And due to my animals coming out most months, there will not be animals in the fall collection. So after that comes out, I will then do like a couple months of animals type thing till the M collection comes out for the holidays. But I um, will, starting this new year, start retiring animals faster. I, I, it's for me more enjoyable to bring the animals in and move them through faster because I can find often, like if I go to like a gem show and buy gemstones, I can't get them again. So it's hard for me to say like two years from now, will I still have that gemstone? I don't want to buy like, you know, piles of gemstones to be able to have an inventory that long so I'm going to in order to I think use some fun and uh, really cool materials and probably gonna start moving the animals along faster so I want to give a heads up on that I love taking a chance when I'm talking like to you in this way to let you know a little of the behind the scenes secrets it's the fun of these videos you know um, but I am going to go because I've showed you these lovely necklaces and I'm trying to not make these super long because I don't think anybody wants to watch that I thank you so much for joining me here. I hope that you're following along on the Facebook page, that that's how you found that today. If not, click on the little photo of me up in the corner and you can become a Trouty. That just, I have to press that again. Which just basically become, means that you have become a fan of Manic Trout and you enjoy seeing what I am up to with Manic Trout. And I'm also on Instagram, also at Manic Trout. I've been trying to do Insta stories. I'm not great at it, but I'm trying. I'm also on Twitter, which I don't use that often, but I am on Twitter with Manic Trout. Um, and you know, if you are on other social media, like Pinterest, things like that, I'm there too. You just have to look for Manic Trout and there I am. And I thank you again for watching. I hope you join next Friday. I am live at 1 p.m. Central every Friday from the studio, but I also, please stay up. So I'm here, I read the comments, I love to engage. If you're not watching live, still say hello. I will, of course, comment back and we'll have a nice conversation started. Have a wonderful weekend, Trouties, and I will see you next Friday.